Have you also been in a situation where the market is moving calmly in one direction and then out of nowhere it furiously reverses, leading to all of your stop losses getting hit? Well, at Algotest, we have a solution for you with our new feature called Lazy Leg. Let's see how to implement this not just for this purpose, but also many other purposes in this video. Hi guys, welcome back to Algotest. If you're new to our channel, Please consider subscribing and liking the video. We post a lot of feeding content every single week. All right, now back to the actual video. What is Lazy Leg? The feature that we're going to use to actually mitigate what we talked about in the earlier and start of this video. So a Lazy Leg refers to a part of your strategy's leg that you can set to activate under certain defined conditions without any manual intervention. It extends the capability of our platform, allowing for more sophisticated management of entry and exit strategies. So essentially, Lazy Leg allows you to enter into a completely new leg with certain defined conditions. All of this without any manual intervention. Now let's understand how we're actually going to use this Lazy Leg feature to enter a short straddle when our call or a put is hit. So essentially, we're going to start off with two straddles. We're going to sell two straddles and then once the stop loss of either the call or the put leg is hit, we're going to enter a completely new straddle. Now let's take an example to understand when this would be useful. So let's say the Nifty is trading at 25,000 right now and you have sold a straddle. Now let's say the market is all of a sudden shooting up and then your call stop loss gets hit. So now your call stop loss is hit and it's exited. We want to adjust once this stop loss is hit and sell another short straddle, right? So let's say the market goes up to 25,050 or so. And at this point, when the stop loss is hit, we want to sell another, a fresh straddle. We're going to show you how to do this adjustment on Algotest. Now, before we proceed any further, as is the case with every single video of ours, this is by no means a strategy recommendation. This is only a demonstration of the feature. And it's also to show you how to achieve this specific use case on Algotest. Please do your due diligence, back testing, forward testing, all of that before you actually trade, because otherwise there is no point. All right, back to the video. So I'm, I'm currently on the Algotest landing page and I'm gonna click on go to dashboard. Now I'm gonna click on create strategy over here. Just gonna get rid of this. So the strategy that we're going to be creating is going to be in the bank nifty index. The entry time will be 9.35 and exit time we're going to leave as 3.15. So as discussed earlier, first we're going to sell two straddles, but we're going to make them individual legs like this. So options, one lot, sell, call, weekly and strike type as ATM, right? Because we're selling ATM straddles. So add the leg and let's add a stop loss of 20 points. So now we're going to duplicate this leg. So we have now two call legs right? Two ATM call legs with a stop loss of 20. Now let's duplicate it once again and change it to put. Okay. And duplicate that once again. So now we have two legs of a call and two legs of a put, right? So we have a short straddle twice. Now you'll ask me, but why are we doing this? We can just easily go to lots and click this and make it two. click this and make it two. Well, there's a very specific purpose for this and you'll find that out in just a minute. So I'm going to change this back to one and one over here. Now moving on, the next thing we have to do is add our condition to sell another fresh straddle, right? Like we said, once a call or a put stop loss is hit, we'll sell a fresh straddle. And for that, we're going to use our lazy leg feature. So first things first, click on re-entry on SL, then click on this and select lazy leg. Now, this is where we will actually create our lazy leg or conditions for a straddle. So now watch carefully. We're going to select stop loss over here. Points as 30. Strike type ATM call. Click on create and select. So leg number one, which is call number one, has lazy one, which is this lazy leg that we've just created. Now for leg number two, which is the second call option that we sold, Click on uh, re-entry on SL and once again select lazy leg and select this button and then click on create new. So we're going to do the exact same thing except this time we're going to put the put option, right? So we've selected option type as put and select the stop loss as the same stop loss, 30 points. Okay, so what have we done? Let me zoom out a little bit to make this a little easier. 
So on leg number one, which is called leg number one, and leg number two, which is called leg number two, we've put a lazy leg condition. Essentially, when the stop loss of any of these legs is hit, and the stop loss will be hit at the same time because both of these legs have a 20 point stop loss, then a fresh straddle will be sold, right? And that straddle, leg number one and leg number two. The call, which is leg number one, and leg number two, which is the put with the stop loss, each of them having a stop loss of 30 points. So that was for the call legs. Now, if the stop loss is hit on the put side, we're going to try and do the same thing. So once again, let's click on re-entry on stop loss in the third leg, which is our first put leg. Click on that. And then once again, select lazy leg. Now you can choose to select from existing as lazy number one, right? And once again, let's select on create new. First, we're gonna put the call option and a stop loss of 30 points. ATM once again, create and select. And then on the fourth leg, just like we did in the call option legs, click on re-entry on SL and select lazy leg. Now here, select on create new, change this option type from call to put and stop loss as in, the, as in all other lazy legs, we've put 30 points. Click select and create. Once you've created that, now what we've done is, let me zoom out one more time. We've got four legs, right? Uh, two calls, two puts, ATM straddle being sold two times at 9.35 a.m., right? All of these legs have a stop loss of 20 points. Now let's say the market goes up and my call stop loss is hit. So both of these calls will be exited. And once leg number one exits, you will have your lazy leg one activated. And leg number two exits, you will have your lazy leg two activated. Lazy leg number one, there'll be a fresh call option being sold at the ATM, whatever the ATM price is at that time. And leg number two, when, uh, when it hits its stop loss, you'll have a put option being sold, whatever the put option, ATM put option is at that time. Effectively creating a short straddle, a fresh short straddle every time your call or your put leg is hit. All right, that was the feature. Now let's backtest this strategy from 2017, let's do that. And click on start backtest. All right guys, the backtest is complete, but once again, before we move on with this video and we move on to seeing the actual results of the strategy, I must reiterate, this is not a strategy recommendation. This is only to show you how this feature works and only to show you how you can build strategies where there is a specific re-entry condition. And in this case, the re-entry condition is selling a fresh straddle, right? So please do your, do your own backtesting, do your own due diligence. Don't take the strategy as it is. Please build your own. All right, now scrolling down to see the results. So this is what it looks like. And you can see that it's, if you scroll down further to the full report, you can actually look, view it trade by trade. You can see that the conditions are being fulfilled. So just let's look at this first one. So uh, this trade date was on uh, 20, in 2017. And uh, the entry was made at 9.35 for the call option, right, this, and then two call options, right? That's how we set up the leg. And uh, also at 9.35, two put options were entered. Now the put option hit its stop loss first at 9.51, about 20 minutes later. And at that same time, at 9.51, you can see a fresh straddle was sold, this. This is your fresh straddle. 9.51 is your exit time when the put was uh, hit, the stop loss of the put was hit. And then a fresh straddle, a call and a put using the lazy leg feature was sold at 9.51 along with its respective stop loss. And you can see this was not a profitable day, but the next day was profitable. So now often we're trying to build a trading strategy and we think we've done that, but only when we go to the live or the forward test, do we see that, okay, it's not working as we intended. Maybe we didn't set it up properly. So this section, which is sometimes overlooked, the full report is very important to break your trade down at least for the next 15, 20 trades to see that it's actually achieving what you're trying to achieve. So guys, this is the framework. If you want to build a trading strategy, wherein every time the call or the put stop loss is hit, you want to sell a fresh straddle. The lazy leg feature is very powerful and we've gotten a lot of positive feedback and love from all of you guys that have actually used this feature. So we encourage you to build new and update your trading strategies using the lazy leg feature because it really is a game changer for everybody that knows how to use it. And just in case you don't know how to use this feature, 
We have another dedicated video that explains how you can use this feature. And we have the documentation for which I'll leave the link in the description that explains this feature word for word and step by step. So please check it all out in the description below. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you learned a new way to build a trading strategy using the lazy leg feature. If you enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel and make sure you turn on the notifications bell so you never miss an upload from AlgoTest. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.